so here we have a new tank for the well pump this is stainless steel this will outlast the original standard tank which um, on the models we've been buying has been just a, a double skin steel but um, this one is going to go in to replace the one which is corroded out on the existing main pump So this is the tank and pump room. And here the pump's going at the moment. Two 2,000 litre tanks above ground. And here is the old offending tank, which sadly, they don't last extremely long. Um, maybe three or four years and you do tend to get corrosion there are some things that aggravate that but as you can see there's a lot of corrosion on this one all the way around the base and that took me a lot of time to get that out because somebody welded the nuts onto the box which had it secured for security to the concrete base that's kind of how the tank's supposed to look, beautiful and painted. And that's how they end up when they start to weep and leak. You get pressure drop in the tank because of the weeping and leaking, which then tends to make the pump cut in, cut out, cut in, cut out. And the only way to stop it is to replace the tank. Now, that was the old tank. You saw the new tank. Well, there it is installed. The pump's running. New tank in there. I had an old base that I had to cut the original one pieces to try and get it out. But that's up and running. That's all happy. That took a lot of work. That took a day to actually make that happen. I had to disassemble the paneling off of this, which is normally an enclosed box. The sheeting's down the end there. But now it's all done. It's up and running. And that'll be fine for a while, so... It's just one of those things. That's the wheel pump. That feeds these two big tanks and some of the supply outside of this. That is the surface pump. While the well pump is quite strong, um, a 300 watt, no, that's a 250 watt motor. The one beside it, the surface pump, is a 300 watt motor. The pressure from that 300 watt, because that's all it's doing, gravity feed from the tank and going out that gives us better pressure um, at the user point, whether it be in the house or elsewhere. While that one is quite strong, um, it's doing two jobs. It's using its wattage to draw from about 25 meters down and to push that water out on the surface. So that that power, that strength, or pumping strength, is sort of compromised. One job, push it out best way you can. Better pressure out of this unit. It's probably the best way to do it too. Water comes out of there, goes into the tank, so the quality of the water can be good, bad, otherwise, depending on the water level table. But going into the tanks first, it has the opportunity to sediment and a lot of the solids have dropped to the bottom of the tank. It's not an enormous amount in any sort of one period, but over a length of time um, you'll see the build up. So the sediment drops to the bottom while it's sitting still in the tank. Consequently the water that's supplied to the 
surface though is a hell of a lot cleaner and once it goes to the house and through the filter then the filter is not having to cope with as much rubbish and heavy junk and the filter will last longer between changes So that's where we're at with that for now guys, so please keep going, um, give us a like, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, and we'll keep you updated on just day to day life in Isan, a western guy uh, married to a Thai lady uh, in rural Thailand, farming land, and um, maybe it answers some of your questions. Please make a comment, ask a question down below. I'll uh, be happy to answer any questions. Give us a like. Thanks for now, guys. Catch you later.